Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I want to talk about patterns and smart patterns within UiPress, uh, kind of why they're so useful and um, I'll give you a few examples. Uh, we'll start with um, a template I'm currently running right now. This one's just been uploaded to the template library. It's called Gutenpress and as you can guess, <clears throat> it's kind of styled after the block editor within WordPress itself. Um, if you want to match that theme. All right, so let's jump in. I've got this uh, template already. This is the one that's currently live. Um, so within this template, I've actually got two admin menus. I've got this one right here. This is the desktop menu. And we also have a separate one uh, for when we go into mobile, which lives here. Uh, now these are two of the same admin menu blocks. Uh, let's just bring it up here. get there eventually. There we go. So we've got the admin menu block here and we also have the one up here. So this is for tablet and mobile and this is for desktop. Now essentially they're doing the same thing, they're just in different spots. So what might often happen is you want to update this one, the desktop one, but you don't want to have to make those changes twice. Um, because you know, it just takes more time. So this is where patterns come in. Um, patterns live uh, just in this main area here. You can see we don't have any right now. Um, and what they are, if you're not familiar with uh, Gutenberg, is kind of reusable combinations of blocks, styles, things like that, um, that you can just drag and drop into your project, reuse them over again. Um, now that's one aspect of them, um, but the other aspect is that within UiPress, they're actually smart patterns. So if you make changes to them in one place, you can, if you want, update that change across all of your templates within your current template as well, and across all the other ones that you have um, on your site. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this admin menu here, the mobile one out as a pattern. Um, so you can either do this from the inline options here to be that button. Um, you can do the same thing here, save as a pattern there, or if you've clicked it up here, we can also do it here. All right, so let's give this pattern a name, um, my custom menu, and give it an icon. Let's go for that. And we can ignore description and pattern type is, uh, it's a block. Let's save pattern. All right, so that's saved, that was easy enough. And now within patterns, you have a new pattern that we just saved. Um, so what we wanna do is go to the mobile menu that we've got here. This is actually this one. And let's delete that out. And now let's drag in a pattern. All right, so we've got the exact same menu as we had that we saved out as a pattern. And maybe we've made some changes to that. Um, I mean, we have, because this is now running customized styles. Um, and that's all there. But now the really powerful part about patterns is when you want to make changes. So, if I come back into my original menu and I thought, mm, do you know what, I want to rearrange this. Um, we can come into the advanced menu editor here, for example. And maybe we wanted media at the top. We'll put that up there. Change that. Whatever changes you're making, uh, we'll change styles to appearance. All right, so that's all updated here, which is perfect, but it hasn't updated here. So in order to do that, it's really simple. All we have to do is find the admin menu here. And now because it's saved as a pattern, you'll see this little sync button. Um, and this will sync the changes from this pattern uh, across all instances of where it's been used within this template and within other templates. So if we press that, it's gonna ask you to confirm that and just describe um, exactly what I've just said. Um, but let's go ahead and press sync pattern. You can see it's all synced. And now if you remember these changes, let's have a look at the mobile pattern. And there they are. All synced. 
um, exactly the same as it was. And you can do that from, you can do the sync from anywhere where you've put the pattern. So it doesn't have to be the original place. You can sync from anyone and it will find um, the kind of parent pattern, update it and update all the instances within the templates. Um, so I can show you how that works across other templates too. Let's go in and just create a new template. Container. Let's just give this background color so we can actually see what we're doing. Right, let's go back to patterns and drag our custom menu in here. And this has got all of our changes that we already made. So let's make some more. Um, these can be any changes you want, but for now we'll just use the menu editor again. Let's say we don't want these things anymore, so we're gonna hide them. And we're gonna give the separator a name. Small menu. So you see that's popped up there. I haven't styled the text on the separators, but oh, let's do that now. There we go. So we've got that. Um, perhaps we wanna now sync that across all of our templates. So again, just come over to the sync menu button, sync pattern button, sorry. Sync it away. And let's go back to our original template. And there we have it. It's synced across that template and the one we synced into. So this is a really cool feature, especially if you're managing multiple templates or very complex templates for, um, you know, big sites, ones with lots of different users. Uh, perhaps you've got different uh, kind of UI templates or admin pages for all those different roles and usernames. Um, this is going to save you a lot of time and help keep all of your um, all of your templates in line with each other. Um, I've given you an example for the admin menu, but these can be as simple as uh, your site logo. You could make that into a template pattern and then say your logo changes or you wanted to make some small adjustments. You can then sync that across everything and uh, yeah, the job's done. Cool, so I hope that gives you a better understanding of patterns and how they work and why they're so useful. Um, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.